you're wrong. Welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back. So, we're going to get ready to do this workout portion uh, of, of the show. Of course, we experienced some little bit technical difficulty, you know what I mean? So, we're going to have to do a little part two, so y'all going to check out the part two. I'm typically going to focus mainly here on this ab area, so I'm going to give you two exercises that you can do at home. You can practice, and you know, you got to have that until we get to, get mm -hmm. to you guys, uh, you know, next week and have a new exercise. That's right. Right? So, we're going to drop to the floor, all right? And I'm going to show you how this workout is supposed to be. I'm going to let this guy do all the talking so you guys don't yes. get my, my mind right, guys. nuts. You know what I mean? We're also going to show you some modifications for those who haven't worked out in a while. Okay. All right. You can see me here on the floor, Charles. Y'all ready? I'm ready. I'm getting warmed up. No, I live for this stuff. Okay, guys. So notice his hands are shoulder distance apart. Okay. Notice the foot. One is in, one is in front. One is in the back. And he's stepping one foot forward. Notice he's taking his time. He's not jumping. He's not hopping. And look at the back. The back is not going up and down. Because I've seen a lot of people do it like that. You know? And he's taking his time. So not only is he getting work in the upper body, he's also getting work in the ab area and also the legs. All right? Very great exercise is for the mountain climb. All right? And how many are they doing? Pick it up, get about 10, 20. You see right. how it started slow, and then I pick it up a little bit. Right. right, your body starts to warm up. See, this is also part of a stabilizing exercise because you got to keep your abs tight too. Oh yeah. Right. Oh, so yeah. This is also good for those lower abs. Works really well when you kick in. You know what I mean? That's right. Get about 10, 20. And now he's going a lot faster now. Okay. So not only is he working the muscles, but he's also working the cardiovascular system as well when he pick up the speed. Good. All right. All right. That was good. That was good. Okay. All right. For those who also may not have, let's say, uh, uh, that that fitness level, you can get a chair. Okay. You can get a chair. And you can do these same exercises in a chair. Okay. So let me give you a quick demonstration. Quick modification. Okay? Modification. So let's just say they have a chair at home or a bench. All right. You might have a bench or a chair at home, and all you do is let's just say this is the chair. And you would come on a chair, right? Get you, and you can boom, 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 boom. Same exercise. Make sure if you're using a chair, you put it up against the wall so you have stabilization. And get the right chair, okay? <laughs> get the right chair. No, no. All right. Also, if you're on the floor, you can modify it too. There's a lot of different ways to make the exercises easier. If I was on the floor, like one way I would do is if person couldn't do it that fast, I would just have him take a touch like he did earlier, really, go touch, uh -huh. touch, touch, That'll right? Warm you up, get you into it. Touch, you know? touch. Even if you just hold it here, it's a lot of great exercise right there. That's right. Okay? That's that plank. All right. You know what I mean? So you got about two or three exercises in that one. I got one more for you guys. All right. That technically, you would do your mountain climbs first, and then you would do this exercise after. The way you want to get your abs tight, a lot of people don't understand, it's not so much uh, sets, it's more of endurance. You know what I mean? Endurance. So, if you get your cardio going, mm -hmm. and then you hit your abs, or hit your abs first, and then get your cardio mm -hmm. going, you'll see more, more right here. You'll get more effective right. this way. Right. Yeah. So, we're going to drop to the floor, and I'm going to okay. show you this awesome workout, right? <laughs> oh, okay. So. Okay guys, so notice that he have his, show, his head off the ground, okay? One foot in the air, okay? Very big exercise because he has his shoulders off the ground and his neck off the ground. And now he's working his legs. So opposed to working one part of his abs, he's actually working two. Okay, notice he breathing. Some people be holding a breath. And you don't want to do that, especially if you're not underwater. Very great exercise once again for your abdominals, and it's all about working more than one muscle at a time. And this is how you burn more calories, and you get a lot done in less time. It's good. That was good. Okay, now he's doing a little variation here. So that means even if you get tired, you don't have to stop. Even when you get tired, you don't have to stop. You could just make the exercises easier, and this is. An approach that I also take with the push-up. You get tired with the push-up, you don't have to stop, you can just 
do the cheeks. Okay? Good, good. That was good. That was good. All right? A lot of different variations for that exercise once again. And um, do you normally take a break before you go into the next exercise? Well, it depends. If I'm breathing rest. properly with the best position, I'm not going to stop. If your stamina, your endurance, the endurance wins, you can do it all the time. But if you're... If you're, uh, you're, 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 you're feeling good, you're mm -hmm. going at a good pace, right. sometimes there's no need to stop. Sometimes you can go a whole 15, 20 minutes, mm -hmm. take a mile break, right. and go at it again. That's right. Every workout doesn't exactly have to be super intense, but it has to be worth it. you got to get some workout. Yes, yeah, sir. You I agree. I, mean? so I agree. You can power up, slow down, power up, mm -hmm. slow down. You know, there's different ways to do it. You know, you guys mm -hmm. do football, basketball, you know. All of that is in the house. And how many sets house. you normally do about? Um, about three, four sets? Me particularly, I don't do sets. Okay. You work I, with I the, do more the minutes. of a timing workout. Okay. You know, so I get in as much as I can get in, mm -hmm. 30 minutes, 40 minutes, and when my body says, okay, that's it, I take Okay. So this is why I ask them because there's a lot of different approaches that you can take. Mm -hmm. Okay. We was just talking about a video where they have the body body weight trainer versus the power lifter. Mm -hmm. And it was like a little contest. I'm going to take that challenge. And they, would, and they would actually do the same exercises and they would time them and see who did the, the best. Basically, if they all went through all the exercises, who had the best timing and all that too. Mm -hmm. So what I'm trying to say is even though the bodybuilder may have a different approach than a body weight trainer, right. you know what I'm saying? Like a martial artist who do his training, the main thing was that they're both in shape and sometimes you can mix it up. Yeah. This is where we have the idea of cross training. Mm -hmm. All depends on what your goal is. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Because cross training, doing multiple exercises, actually helps you reach your goal faster than mm -hmm. doing two and three sets of chest, legs, arms, right. and all of that. Mm -hmm. you know? If you're doing bodybuilding, then by all means, you know, follow that. But if you're just trying to stay in shape and get yourself together, then you basically want to just fill yourself out and just mm -hmm. keep your body moving. Dude. Less is best. Fun. You know what I mean? Yeah, less is best. That's, that's the best way to and, go about it. And also, I learned also another thing in reference to timing. That when you're doing your workout, even if you do five minutes to ten minutes, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because they do have uh, uh, an exercise called Tabata, right. where you're only doing four minutes, and it's a very good exercise you can do once a week mm -hmm. to spark up the muscles, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's, it's supposed to be four exercises, and you do 20 seconds, and then 10 seconds rest. Okay. And it's just like going hard. Well, I mean, that's, that's something that's great for uh, two groups of people, in my opinion. One or your starter who basically is not really deep into their workout, they're still trying to get their self mm -hmm. kick started, start up small, 10, 15 minutes, you know, just to get yourself into it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And you do that pretty much every day until your body works into it. The other group that works really, really hard, these 9 to 5 people. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the 9 to 5 people, they're not getting home to 7, 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. They got other responsibilities. They don't get a chance to yeah. get work Yeah, that makes sense. So it's like they get up early in the morning. They can get their 15, 20-minute workout before their day even starts so you're not missing anything. Yeah, that makes sense. You, know, so mm -hmm. you got two types of uh, two types of people, you know, in those groups that can take advantage of the workout, 15, 20 minute workout, mm -hmm. all dependent on what your day is like, right. you know, what you got in front of you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But okay. If you can afford to spend the time to work on your body, do so. Working on your temple is important. Mm -hmm. I don't encourage working an hour. I mean, well, an hour and a half, two hours to me is kind of excessive and it's yeah. like really long. <laughs> overtraining. It's like, it's like overtraining. You can yeah. injure yourself too. And that's, you know what I mean? yeah, so and that's what the video careful. was about. Yeah. Um, uh, Charles, did you find that uh, video with the, uh, the uh, videos yeah, that I sent you? I sweat. I was working on my real. The videos from YouTube that I sent you? <laughs> yeah, which one? Um, the one on the 99 metabolic. Metabolic training. So we're going to show you a quick video about metabolic training. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to talk about it real quick. Okay, so we just want you to take a look at it for a few seconds. And then we're going to come back and talk about it.
right, so right. I hope you guys enjoyed that video, 99 yes, yes. Metabolic. Yes. It looked it look real similar to, uh, you know, what a boxer or MMA fighter, you know, would do as mm -hmm. far as, you know, like their training with the heavy bag or just like what's in front of you, water jugs and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, little step stools. But it's basically making your body move in ways you haven't trained it to move. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like it had the box jumps and all that stuff. A lot of people, they're still just trying to jump. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like the box jump. They feel like they're going to trip, you yeah, know, yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that. This is yeah, why you yeah. get a trainer, somebody to help you out with it. But these, okay. are, these are also things that, uh, you know, you pick a few of them. Pick your favorites, you yeah. know what I mean? And just get a blueprint and just yeah. try them out. See what you yes. like, you know what I mean? Because these things will help you really lose weight. And stay also in shape, the safety. You know? yeah. That was something that came to my mind because um, I noticed most of the exercises, because when I first started, I was using a lot of exercises. Mm -hmm. High impact exercise, or I like to call plyometrics when you do right. a lot of jumping motion. Right. You know what I'm saying? As you get older, get your heart rate higher. You want, yeah, get your heart rate up. But it takes knowledge to be able to uh, activate the heart rate even without jumping. Mm -hmm. And you can do it. You know what I'm saying? So that's very, very important, especially if you're up there in age mm -hmm. or overweight. And you don't need to be jumping, trying to jump up. And, you know, you had to bring down the weight. Right. So the whole idea, you have to train safe. This is why you said have a trainer. Mm -hmm. Also, I wanted to talk have about. options. Yes. You know I mean? Also hitting the different planes of motion. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Depending on your intention. Right. Because depending on what your intent is, if you're trying to get ready for an event or if you're just trying to tone up, mm -hmm. then you want to select the, listen, not a whole lot, but you want to select the best the most exercise. E the most effective exercise there you go. that's going to get the job done. Yes. You know what yes. I mean? That's that's important. Like that's what I mean by when you have Mike is uh, oh, oh when you have uh, a goal, you have a goal. Yeah. Mine works a little bit different. You yeah. know what I mean? But again, for some of those who are just you know trying to stay in shape, they mm -hmm. don't technically have a goal. It becomes a little bit more difficult. They get right. bored. You right. know, you need a challenge. So right. That was. The that's whole thing about today was motivation. Motivate yourself. Different yeah. ways to motivate yourself. Challenge yourself. Different ways to challenge yourself. Different ways. And stay in shape. That's stay right. healthy and have fun. You know what I mean? Enjoy that's the, the most journey. important part of the message. Enjoy, Enjoy the, the journey. journey. <laughs> if you're not going to have fun doing it, it's, uh -huh. it's going to be hard for you to pick choices of songs or even to pick the right workouts. Again, the focus mind will help you stay in shape. But if you're mm -hmm. distracted or you got too many things on your mind, then there's a chance you can mess yourself up, you get yeah. injured, lose your step, Injury. stuff like that. Yeah. Like, it's, it's really easy and, and, and to you know injure what? yourself, bro. And, it's, and this is why in the fitness thing, warm up. Yeah. You see you see how when we started with the exercise, it starts slow. Mm -hmm. Then it gets, you know, medi medium, somewhere yeah. towards medium. Then you, you pick it up a little right. bit. But see, the same way you do that, you pick it up when you want to stop, you're supposed to slow it down that way. Go back to medium, mm -hmm. go back down to slow. Right. You know, right. you got to reset. Bring your body up, bring your body down. Exactly. We don't train like that because uh, honestly a lot of us are not in that position where your body needs to be in that type of physical shape. Some people just worry about walking down the block, being able to chase <laughs> their kids or their grandkids or you know right, just right, shoot right. hoops in the park and stuff like that. So in that retrospect, you train for the things that you're trying to get prepared mm -hmm. for. Mm -hmm. You know, in other words, if you just want to be on the court with your kids and have fun, then you know, stretch, you know, do basketball do training, exercises, do stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know, if you go into other workouts, now all of a sudden you want to be a boxer and do all this extra stuff, you get hit too hard, now you can't play basketball. <laughs> <laughs> you know what right, I mean? Right, right, so right, it's right. like, you but know, train for the things that you technically want to do. Yeah, you know what I mean? Right. Rest, drink a lot of water, stay hydrated mm -hmm. because your body relies on a lot of water. You yeah, don't realize you how have much right. water your body relies on. So what, what other uh, yeah. workout can they do at home? I mean, there's there's plenty. I mean, yeah, I, know, but we need all, a demonstration, all depends, though. All depends mm -hmm. on what they have at home, too. All right, know? let let's let's pick all something right. that we have let's in the just, studio. How about how about we got not the, not the brick something wall. similar to a a, a, <laughs> right a, a right broomstick here. or something? I got one right here. See, like I would use something like this broomstick, mop stick, something right. like that. And see, typically I use this for like the stretch. You know, uh, I have a little problem rotator cuff, so this helps me therapeutically. You know, help with my shoulder. You know. Bring it up, bring it down. Bring it up, bring it down, and bring it here. But the whole whole time, if you notice, this is tight. Mm. Everything stays tight. When you're you're doing a lot of these stretches, it's not so much uh, uh, to be relaxed. It's more of you know posture. If your posture mm -hmm. is right, you'll get the best out of it. You know. So sometimes I would want them like this. You know, you have like a long broomstick, knob stick, something like that. You know, and this works on rotator cuff. Mm-hmm. You know? Simple. And if you're you're doing this the right way, breathing in 
between where you're supposed to breathe, you'll feel it. You feel it in your mm-hmm. abs, you feel it in your shoulders. You feel yourself start to warm up, you feel yourself start to sweat. Mm. You know, so that's that's the thing. Right. Get yourself to sweat. Mm. You can you can add to it. You know what I mean? By bringing your stretch down. my lower back now, mm. you know, so now my lower back is loosening up, all right, mm-hmm. that's warm up, right, you know? simple, simple, warm so up. Warm up. some of the stuff that I do is I just enjoy the journey, mm-hmm. all right, uh, we had a video game where we would be at the house and it's like a karaoke, so that means you can, you can be singing your song, mm. you know what I'm saying, moving, you know what I'm saying, like you in a situation, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, do your, do your different movements, or you might be able to do the kata. You might, mm-hmm. like I was in the hallway the other day doing my katas. You know what I'm saying? Then I go into some jumping jacks. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So the jumping jacks, the kata, you can add the dance element, and you can put it all together in the workout, including the yoga. Have fun. Have That's fun right. with it. Enjoy man. the journey. So some... you know, have fun with it, man. Throw That's your hoodie right. on. Throw your music on. There you go. Make sure you got enough food do, in your do, tank and you have fun with it. There you go. So you know, that's try different things. A few know? things that you can do at home. And once again, the stretching, mm-hmm. yoga. I love that part so you can, because... You can use this for the stretch, too. There you, you go. Know. Simple stuff. Things that just keep your arms in place. You know what I mean? To help you balance. Mm-hmm. You know? A lot of working out is uh, how, they, how they say it. It's, it's symmetric, you know? So you want to make sure you're doing the same things on the left side you're doing on the right side, you know? So sometimes it just helps to balance it. Yeah. You know? You got to do both sides. It gives your arms somewhere to go, something to do with your hands. There you go. You know what I mean? So what, what, uh, what do you call yeah. that exercise? The, the crouching scarecrow? Uh, it, it, it gotta be, man. I just feel locked up right now. Hitting dragon, like crouching tiger. I feel like I'm in Sparta or something, man. You know, and they got me walking through the gladiator arena, you know, and they don't want to let me go. You know? Like a scarecrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo. Back to the Wizard of Oz, right? So. You can't win. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Michael Jacks, right? All right. And everybody laughed at Michael Jacks for wearing his mask and wearing his gloves. Check that out today. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it was ahead of time. Everybody made right. fun of Mike. <laughs> Mike had his gloves. He had his mask. He already knew what was up. Wow. He and Kit. Wow. He and Kit. Big Mike. So, Without further ado, we're going to say goodnight to you guys. Yes. Glad you guys hung out and had fun with us. I hope yes. you guys made the workouts that we did that you can do throughout the week to help yourself to stay sexy.